Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very proud to be here today as the newly elected Member of Parliament for Ilford North to support the cause for justice for the Tamil people. Before I talk about that, I just want to say a few words, if you'll indulge me, about my predecessor, Lee Scott. Lee Scott was the Conservative Member of Parliament for Ilford North, and as many of you will know, he was the chair of the all-party parliamentary group on Tamils. After a difficult and cl closely fought election, there were many issues that Lee Scott and I disagreed on, but this issue wasn't one of them, and I want to pay tribute this afternoon to the hard work and dedication that Lee Scott showed as the chair of the all-party parliamentary group on Tamils, and if I do half the work that Lee Scott did, um, that will be very impressive indeed, and I wish Lee and his family very well, and I know that although Lee is no longer a member of parliament, that his commitment to this cause is as strong as it was before the election. We all know the terrible atrocities that were committed during the Civil War, but we've yet to see the acknowledgement, the truth, the justice, and the reconciliation that can only follow truth and justice emerge from those very dark days. And I know from my interest in this issue as a councillor in the London Borough of Redbridge until tomorrow, the Deputy Leader of the London Borough of Redbridge, that the cause for justice for the Tamil people are shared right across our borough. People in all communities, from all faiths and backgrounds, all political parties, want to see justice for the Tamil people. And we also know that for too long the international community has dragged its heels when it's come to the need for the independent international investigation that so many people have called for, that has been promised so many times and that the Sri Lankan government and the international community have dragged their heels on for far too long. So as a newly elected member of parliament, I add my voice as the MP Brilford North to all of yours and the many voices beyond the impressive gathering here this afternoon. We have to keep up the pressure. We have to keep up the pressure on our government to make sure that they're putting pressure on the international community to deliver the independent international investigation. We need to keep up the pressure on international institutions. We don't want more words, we want action now, and it's time for the international community to deliver. And it's also time to ask the Sri Lankan government and its newly elected president again, warm words aren't good enough. We want them to open their doors and open up the entire country to the independent international investigation. And we also want to see an immediate end to the ongoing human rights abuses of people in Sri Lanka that's still taking place even today. So I look forward to working with you as a newly elected Member of Parliament. I'm so impressed with the gathering you've achieved, you've achieved here this afternoon and let's hope that as newly elected Members of Parliament go about their work today on the first day of Parliament, that not just those MPs that have significant, vibrant Tamil communities as I do in Ilford North and we have in Redbridge but every single member of parliament, whatever community they represent, however far they've travelled today, they must know what happened during the civil war. The international community must know what happens and there must be truth and justice and ultimately reconciliation. Thank you very much and I wish you well and I look forward to working with you.